Week 8, Problem 9. To monitor, the, to monitor the breathing of a hospital patient, a thin belt is girded around the patient's chest. The belt is 200 turn coil. When the patient inhales, the area encircled by the coil increases by 45 centimeters squared. The magnitude of the Earth's magnetic field is 50 microteslas and makes an angle of 28 degrees with the plane of the coil. Okay, assuming a patient takes 1.5 seconds to inhale, find the magnitude of the average induced EMF in the coil during this time interval. All right, so this guy is once again Lenz's Law. So start out by writing Lenz's Law. Oh, let's do blue. Ooh, I can do light blue. Light blue, but not too light. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, negative deflux dt equals negative dBA dt equals negative dB dt times A. Eh, I can do that better. Negative dB dt times A plus dA dt times B. Eh, put the negative sign out there. Alright, and this is a dot product here, so we're going to have to figure out what to do with that 28. So I'm going to draw a picture. So we got a coil, I assume like this. Oop, there we go. Nope. Like that, and we have the magnetic field coming down like this. I'm going to draw this. Ooh, I do like that purple. What did you do, crazy? There we go. Like this. And I'm going to say that this angle right here is 28 degrees. With the plane of the coil. I'm going to assume the plane of the coil means the plane. And we have like, what, 28? 200. So we're going to have 200 turns, which basically is just going to mean that the effect is going to be 200 times. It's like taking 200 batteries and putting them in series. Same idea. Um, 28. Okay, so the effect on magnetic field is going to have the most when the two are in this. And when the magnetic field is like this and the A is like that. So with dot product then, we're going to have cosine of theta. Cosine of theta. So we're going to have to have the cosine of 28 degrees in here. So it's going to be, all right, eh, scooch back a little bit. All right. So real quick, magnetic field is going to be constant, so that's going to be zero, which means this whole section right here is going to be zero. So the induced EMF, I'm going to, I'll leave it back will be delta A. I'm going to use delta now because we're not actually really using a derivative, we're just doing an average. Change it T times the magnetic field, and then we're going to have to do the cosine of 28. And then I'm just going to throw in, seemingly magical, I'm going to call this EMF total, 200, because there's 200 coins. All right, did I use all the information? Eh, probably. I'm going to convert, so really quickly here, I'm going to convert 45 centimeters to square meters, or 45 centimeters squared. So the way you do that is 1 meter over 10 to the squared centimeters, that gives you 1, over 10 to the squared centimeters, that gives you 2. So the idea here then is we're going to have 45 divided by 10 to the fourth, which equals 45 no, turned into 95. 45 times 10 to the negative fourth square meters. Okay. And the negative here doesn't matter because I think all they're doing is asking for the magnitude. So for the area, bum bum bum, we're going to have 45. I'm going to leave the negative in there just because I feel awkward without it. But it's not necessary. 45, and we have 1.5. 
seconds. Magnetic field is 50. That seems reasonable. 50 times 10 to the negative 6 micro Teslas. That way we have everything in. Or 50 times 10 to the negative 6 Teslas, or 50 micro Teslas, times cosine of 28 times 200. There we go. Hmm. It starts simplifying things a little bit. So this guy, 10 to the negative tenth. This guy, let's see here. I'm going to say 30. So 3 times 5 is 15. Hmm. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 2 is 30 times 10 and we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros times 10 to the negative 10th times cosine of 28 a little more so do 3 so this is 10 to the negative 6 it's 10 to the negative 5 cosine of 28 all right. Three times ten to the negative fifth times cosine of twenty-eight. Let's see, wait. Let's see if Wolfram figures this out. Bam. Two point six five into the negative fifth. Ah, wait a sec. I messed that up because I don't want to use twenty-eight here. I want to use this angle right here, which would be 62. I'll say 62. One point four times ten to the negative fifth. That seems more reasonable. Equals one point four times ten to the negative fifth, which equals fourteen times ten to the negative sixth micro volts. Yeah. Yeah. 14.1. Got it. 14. Yeah, I'm good with that. So, 14 microvolts. That seems reasonable. So, very, very small. Interesting. Yep, and that's how you do that one. Lenz's Law. Alright, done with 9? 